The shooting and injuring of the two FBI agents took place about five miles south of Ferguson, but was said to be not directly related to protests taking place there. Demonstrations, however, continued across Ferguson, Missouri on Tuesday night. A police vehicle was set on fire and more than 40 arrests were made. But the protests did not approach the chaos of the previous night, which saw arson, looting and rioting in the streets. It's clear, though, that people remain angry. Darren Wilson refuses to apologize for his actions and say he would do it again. I am not supporting that. I am not giving CNN any ratings. That man is getting rich off the killing of black men, and I will not support him. It's crazy, man. It's, just, it's just all crazy. It's a bunch of bull. They know that's just like this. why they didn't release this verdict at nighttime. They knew what was going to happen. They wanted to burn. Members of the National Guard, which tripled its numbers in the Ferguson region, were far more visible and remained posted throughout the city after the protests ended. A lot of the protesters that came out for uh, peaceful protests actually were assisting us tonight. Uh, but once again, there are those that are stuck on violence that embed themselves with the uh, peaceful protesters. The verdict of the Michael Brown case also sparked demonstrations in cities across the U.S. on Wednesday after a grand jury in Missouri decided not to indict a white police officer in the shooting of black teenager Michael Brown. In Washington, D.C., a crowd lay in the street for four and a half minutes to commemorate the four and a half hours that 18-year-old Michael Brown's body lay in the street after he was shot and killed by Ferguson Police Officer Darren Wilson. Maria Galang, CCTV.